Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to add lines to a scatter plot in R. So first, let's take a look at some data and use it to plot a simple scatter plot. The data set I'm going to use is one of uh, R's inbuilt data sets. So to take a look at the one I'm going to use, I'm going to run line four, um, the uh, data function just on its own. So run that. That brings up a separate tab and if I scroll down at, in this tab, I'm going to come to a data set which is called pressure. And this is, it's just got two variables. It's got vapor pressure of mercury as a function of temperature. So I want to do a, a scatter plot of uh, vapor pressure uh, against temperature. So let's go back and I'm going to take a look at the uh, first six lines of the pressure data set. And here it is in the console. Uh, we can see that the uh, variable names temperature and pressure and temperature increases in 20 degree increments and uh, pressure in mercury is listed as the second variable. So when we want to plot a simple histogram of that I'm using the plot function and you can see in the parameters in this function I'm using the pressure data set uh, adding a main heading for the diagram uh, putting the word temperature on the X label and with the word pressure on the Y label. So this is a fully labeled plot. So let's go ahead and run that. And when we, let me expand my area here on the right hand side, so when we um, run the plot function, we get a simple plot of va for vapor pressure of pressure versus temperature. And we can see as uh, temperature increases, the pressure also increases. And we take a zoom in on that using the zoom function in our studio. And we get quite a large chart here and we can get a clearer picture of, of um, the increase in pressure as temperature increases. Now, let's say I want to add a line to that chart, and there's different types of lines or different ways of connecting the dots on this chart. So to do that, in my plot function, I'm going to add in an extra parameter. So put a, a comma after while lab equals pressure. I'm going to press enter to move down the next line. And uh, the um, type is the parameter I'm going to use. Type equals and in inverted commas, we've got different options available to us uh, by a single letter as to which type we are going to use. So to, to get an idea of what ones are available to us, I'm going to go to the help option in our studio. And in this, the default scatter plot function, if I scroll down, to get, there's some syntax of the plot function. And if I go down to see what the arguments are, we can see that the one of them is type and that if I um, highlight some, some items in this, the following values are possible. So we can see a P for points, that's the default that we've already seen, uh, an L for lines, B for both points and lines, uh, C for empty points joined by lines, and so on down through here. So let's um, um, take a look at a few of these to add some lines to our plot. So I'm going to go back to my plot. So at the moment I have the default plot. So if I put in the ty uh, type P first of all and rerun this line of code, uh, we don't get any changes in the vapor pressure because uh, P, which stands for points, is the default value if we leave it out. If I change the P to an L, which stands for lines, and rerun the code, we can see in our diagram, let me zoom in on it to get a better picture, that we instead of having dots, we have a continuous line. So that might be our visual of choice in this case here. We can also change the type from L to say B for both um, points and lines. So let's run that. And we can see, I'll zoom in for a clearer picture, we can see that we're getting dot, uh, points and lines type of diagram. Again, uh, the choice of diagram is going to be uh, up to you depending on uh, what you want to, to visualize with your data. Let's try a couple of more. Uh, if I um, go for say um, H, the letter H for histogram and run this, we see we will get, and I'll zoom in again, we're getting a, a type of histogram, not particularly useful for this type of data, but again, it might be suitable for data that you are going to be using. We can also do a small s for some, step, for some uh, steps, stair steps. So let me again run the line of code. So I'm just rerunning the same line of code over and over. All I'm doing is changing the type as I go along. And we can see, if I zoom in again, that we're getting a step type of, of um a diagram for vapor pressure and again that might be suitable for you. We can also use a capital S for a different type of steps. So this is for other steps. Uh, run this and uh, we can, if I zoom in again, we're getting a slightly uh, different type of step in here. So experiment with the different options here. Look up to help and see what letter you should use for the type of option that you want for the type of line that you are using in your chart. 
So that's how you add lines to a simple scatter plot in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.